I'm very interested in evolution and ecology, and butterflies are ideal organisms, that is, insects, to study because they're beautiful and you can write numbers on their wings and you can follow them around. So they were an ideal organism for me to work with. I think they've been about equal. I've spent a lot of time in the field trying to answer theoretical questions and a lot of time thinking about theoretical issues like uh, the human impact on the planet that can't be studied in the field. It all started with a discussion of what butterflies ate at a coffee table with one of the world's great botanical ecologists, Peter Raven. Coevolution tells us that the organisms of the planet are not only evolving in response to their physical environments, but they're also evolving in response to one another. And that's critical to understand if you want to know how the world works. Metapopulations are collections of populations that can interact with each other, so that if one of the population goes extinct, it may be recolonized by individuals from the other population. And this is extremely important in a world where the most serious extinction problem we face is the extinction of the populations that deliver critical ecosystem services to humanity. It's really important to understand that the world is always changing and therefore it's critical that we have long-term studies that tell us not just what happened over a year or two but what's happening over decades so we can have a better idea looking into the future with what's going to happen to our ecological life support systems. Well, restoration is usually a situation where you've had a coal mine, say, strip a large area of land, and then uh, restoration means restoring the soil and replanting the trees. But the idea that you can restore things uh, to some primitive state is just silly because the world is always changing and you have to decide what to restore to. In fact, it's really impossible ever to restore a system to its previous state, but you often may want to intervene, and that's intervention ecology, in order to, re to replace a forest or to change a situation that's become undesirable.